Hello, nerds and nerds. My name is Phoenix, and today we're looking at Keeper RL. In the previous episode, we managed to collect quite a few weapons from the burg from the bandit party. We completely destroyed it, and we accidentally fought some dwarves. We are not ready for dwarves, but my team is ready in here to fight some other people. We also discover alchemy, and we're digging out the gold now. So we're doing quite okay. We are quite ready for fight. I want to just enlarge my team. I want to see who is there around to be attacked. Warriors are our main villains and are quite strong, so I don't want to be messing with them. Lesser bandits are dead. And I can't read. There is a site to visit, and obviously there was few dwarves there. That we've found there. Maybe we should send somebody and just trade with our allies. Let's grab like one dude, like this. Um, we're going to control him and send him to travel and we're going to go and see what we can do with this location. There's nobody here so we're going to explore that and see how the tr trading works with them people because I have no idea. It's completely changed in the game. Nobody really knows how it works at the moment but I like it. It kind of gives it a bit more depth to it that you have to travel to locations and maybe you can even make some sort of alliances and stuff. Okay, there's a shopkeeper here. A dwarf, level 15, really? He hates me already. Okay, we're going to be fighting him. Well, he died reasonably quickly. What on earth is going on in here? Let's open the chest, a sleep potion. Let's open the chest, lever. That was crazy in here. I didn't expect that to happen at all. Some sort of lesser dwarf in here. They're like little dwarves. A baby dwarves, maybe. That's interesting. Oh, uh, that's a dwarf I don't want to be messing with. And especially in this locked location, so no. We're going to go and leave from here. Let's see what else is there. Are uh, orcs? They obviously are the allies. Can we talk with them? No. Maybe if I send my keeper, we could talk with them. Okay, so we know the orcs are here. Then that's how it do. That's how it looks on the map so far. This location, there is nothing. Okay, haven't found anything else, but we found this one single dwarf that is here. So we know it's not the massive villages there, just one single people. So let's send him back to our site. Confirm that. Select him, and he can go back. And we got some money from that. I really need somebody really powerful to kill this dwarf. And at the moment I don't have anybody who is that strong. Even my best trained orcs is still not strong enough. At level 15 they have 36 damage and rather low defenses, so that's not ideal at all. I'm trying to prepare my ogre ready for this fight. Give him a sleep potion and we'll see if he is capable of killing that dwarf. Maybe I should give it to the Keeper. Maybe Keeper could do it. I'm interested if Keeper is capable of doing that. Let's do Library. Advanced Sorcery, he got some more spells. Let's see what sort of spells Keeper has. Now, Control. He has his Shield. Q Poisoning. Escape. Fire Sphere. And Stun Ray. Dexterity and all other that. Okay, maybe we should try the Keeper then. Let's select him. Let's give him some consumables here. A sleep potion would be nice. And send him on a mission. Apart of that, there is nothing else there. So let's go. When he gets the sleep potion, we'll send him on the mission by himself, pretty much, to fight the orc. The dwarf. Hopefully, he won't die. We'll see. Control. Tra travel? Try again. Confirm. Okay, let's go and try to do it. We have to throw the potion at the dwarf. So we know the dwarf is here. Ideally we want to catch him like this. Perfect. We're faster than him. Going to select potion, throw it and we aim direction. He is harmless, the dwarf falls asleep. Okay. 
haste ourselves and increase the strength. Dwarf is still a sleeping. I'm going to throw the arrow for this. And let's kill him. Okay, wielding a battle axe, sleeping 75. Got him once. And he's now awake. He's also depressed. His attacks are quite powerful, so maybe not necessarily. Stun Ray. Dwarf is stunned. What if he told me what is wrong with him and how long he's stunned? Swing the sword, the cut is harmless. Cut is harmless again, that's not good. It doesn't look great. Dwarf is wounded, perfect, and he now moves away. Okay, so we can actually have a chance. But the fire sphere does not work perfectly. Come on, Dwarf. If you're wounded, maybe we can get you. He's running. He's actually running away. So interesting to see. He's not fighting me at all. He's wielding a battle battle. He's wounded. That's the only thing he is, really. Let's go the fire sphere. Things are now burning, and he's still wounded, but wounded critically, so that's not bad. Especially that if he dies, he dies, don't he? Let's get him. Am I wounded? I am wounded, so let's cure myself. I don't want to die in here. I'm going to summon a few insects. Okay, so you get wounded from the fire. We have our usage in here, so we're going to apply the potion on us. We're going to just wait a few turns. It looks like a dwarf died. He did. Did I level up because of that? Nobody knows really, but we're going to grab his weapons here perfectly. And we're going to grab all that. Look at that. I actually done quite okay. I am impressed with myself really a lot. That was a good plan to kill this one dwarf. Keeper will gain some levels from that, because for killing enemies you gain levels. We're going to get some gold as well, which is not bad. We're going to travel to location, back to base, confirm, and send the Keeper back, all the way back. The Dwarves may get angry with us. But hey, that's the risk we have to take, that's okay. What we're going to do, we're going to drop all the gold that we have collected into our chest. Give it drop, throw, drop. Perfect. And overall, we're level 7, we're doing quite okay. We have a better weapon, so let's equip this weapon instead. We can drop that one. And perfect, we're going to answer a keeper. We got 150 mana for killing that. And we also have 750 gold, so we can select more people here. So and exactly what we're going to be doing this very moment. We're going to grab two, 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 two installments and build a few statues again. So we're going to build two. Two extra will allow me to get few, two more people. And then we're going to grab all this gold from here as well, so that's not too bad. I feel like we could make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Statue here. And statue here, perfect. And then we'll build it eventually and everything will be great. And I'm really impressed with the level of the Keeper. He leveled up quite nicely. What I want to be doing with it, because I like really playing Aggressive Keeper, we're going to select him for training only. Perfect, so he will go and train. He will become better mass fighter from that. Which is not bad at all. 
Orc joined my forces and Ogre joined my forces. So I got two people extra. One extra person will be coming. We have plenty of weapons now. I'm tempted to get rid of this. But because they produce good weapons, I'm not really sure how what should I do with them. Maybe I'll just select most of the people here and tell them not to do it. You can change in here activities that they do. So I don't want any of them working in the in the workshop or forge or laboratory or anything. I just want them to be focused on pretty much everything in here, on training. Because they are the most powerful creatures I have at the moment in my team. And that's exactly what I need them for. So workshop is disabled for all my ogres. For orcs, I will have one dedicated to workshop. But that's going to be the lowest one. So we're going to have this guy. He's going to be working in the forge only. And no training for him. And this guy will be working in the workshop only and no training for him. Perfect. The rest of the guys will be training and not doing anything else. So that's exactly what I'm selecting them for. Everybody here, just training, no workshops and stuff. I wish I could just do it for everybody, as the moment I'm not aware that there is a way to do it at all. That powerful team, I may actually go and try to kill the other dwarf again. The one near the bandits. I know there was a dwarf there. Maybe we can actually do it. I'm very really tempted to take Keeper. Keeper here is currently level 7. He's gaining experience slowly. It's 25 attack. But when he casts his spells, like look, look at that. His attack is 25, his defense is so much. But when he casts most of his spells here, his attack and dexterity kind of grow quite a bit actually. The higher level I can make him visible as well. So it's not too bad. Library and Master Sorcery 350 mana. That's something we want to be doing soon. Maybe at night time we're going to go and attack somebody. For now there isn't really that much else to do in this very moment, we're just collecting the gold, building more and more things in here. Expanding my army. And trying to survive here. Okay, I've selected my guys to build more of the statues. Because we'll need a few of those. So they can use the gold to build that eventually, slowly as time progresses in here. Just allow, waiting for them to dig things out, so we're going to do this gold and some of the stones and some of the iron that will take a little while. In the meantime, the day is passes. It's 172 turns until the day passes completely. Now I can create a new team in here. And what we're going to do? We're going to grab the ogre, create a new team, and all the ogres will join the team as well. As I'm waiting for night time to come. May as well create a brand new team with pretty much everybody in here selected. Some old and dudes ready. They're not doing anything else. Can be joining the team. Oh, we have one vampire. I want vampire to study. So he's going to be studying mostly rather than training at the moment. I need mana. Vampires can study, they can learn spells as well, so they are quite powerful. And they can obviously be a good fighter. The only issue is they can't leave your cave, uh, your place at daytime. So we have to really bring them back for night before nighttime falls, otherwise they will be in serious trouble. Vampires learn the spell of healing. So as you can see he's not doing too badly really. Okay, nighttime it is. Going to select my team in here. Our leader of our team is controlling everything. We're going to select him and go to bandit side. Confirm that. All right, we know there was a dwarf there. I want to just have a quick scan how many of them there was. There is plenty of gold there. And my dude has decent attacks here. 
Not as decent to fight the dwarf, however. 40 and 33. If I move off the way, then maybe my guys can actually do some damage. We got him. He's injured badly, and we got him. Okay, perfect. I'm going to grab his train, his weapon, and his gold. I'm going to collect all the gold from here, pretty much. So far, we do progressing quite nicely through the sides. Especially that I'm clearing one after another. There was orc and orc and lever, because why not? Plus, I think that was my orc dead. Now we collected it from, but that's fine. Scan the area in here. There is more to come, but there are little dwarves, the baby dwarves. So you see, they are sad that we are killing them. We're going to not the dwarf arm. Drop. We want to collect the corpses as well. So as you can see, we can scan that. Dwarf corpse, I want it. I carry too much. Okay, let's change the control on this guy. Dwarf corpse, carry that. Carry too much already as well. Okay, well, tough. We cannot pick up the dwarves then. That sucks, but that's okay. Oh, there's two of those. And nah, we're going to leave that side. Okay, ready? Go back to your places. Killed a few of those, so it's not too bad. We got some mana from that. We're going to drop most of our equipment as soon as we get to the base. Even though they may be a little bit upset with us. If I get them better spells for Keeper, I could send him next episode and kill these two remaining dwarves, hopefully. Especially if he can get the like, invisibility spells and all that, and he will level up nicely from that. With me knowing that he's reasonably safe there, and there isn't that much damage that can happen to him. Okay, what level is Keeper now? He's level 9, so he got promoted a bit. He has higher attacks and better everything. It's good, adding some consumables, just a little bit more crafts. The first aid kits, because he will need them. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up the Keeper as well quickly here. Let's just go and collect this scroll of fire. Scroll of flies. You can use them in the battle and they're not too bad. Let's see what sort of equipment we have. We have rather rubbish inventory in here, so we're going to remove that. We want to drop it, we want to pick up the best weapon we can grab. So 12 plus 1 attack. And perfect, okay, Keeper is ready pretty much to pick up most of the equipment I told him, so he will be quite powerful and well equipped for battles. As the time progresses in here, he will pick up the axe, he will pick up other things as well, and he will be doing quite okay. We are nearly ready to do this research. Master it, 350, so just a little bit, one step away. The vampire, I have two vampires now. What is this doing? This one is training, I want it to be studying as well. Until I research all the spells, I want vampires to study a lot, because we'll need a lot of mana. At least for now, until I can fight people properly. Another part of that is fine. So Keeper, you go, mate. Pick up the axe, fantastic. Look at that, he has an axe, that is locked now. Iron, lever, chain, iron, not bad at all. Okay, I selected my guys to mine out some more minerals, and I also selected a beach patch of trees because I'm hoping to attract some, some of the tree spirits to actually fight me eventually. So that should be working quite okay for us as well. I'm going to go to library. I'm going to research a master sorcery that will unlock the most powerful spells for Keeper. As you can see now, he has more spells in here. His spells are now portal, creates the magical portal. The two portals are needed to connect, that's fine. Has a meteor shower, force bolt, and quite a few spells in here. Word of power causes the explosion around the spellcaster, not bad at all, especially when people are closing to you. And invisibility, one of the best spells ever, allows you to become invisible, obviously, and hide from enemies. So I think we're doing okay, guys. I'm very happy with the way the episodes are going so far. Going to be doing more buildings soon, and eventually we're going to go and attack the two single dwarves with a keeper, and hopefully level him up as well as he progresses through that. For now, I'm going to finish the episode in here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave the like on the video and let me know in the comments what you think. 
and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.